Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So in the last video, we took a look at transactions and then looking at what's in those transactions and then parsing out a bit of data. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the streaming of the transactions we had, combine that with parsing of the data so we can stream the data that we wanna see. So it's gonna be a lot more copy pasting of code since we already wrote it all. Also, I got a comment on YouTube and she was saying that we should take a look at ethers instead of web three. So we might do that in the future. I have looked at it a little bit, didn't find the documentation as good, but we might take advantage. She said it works a little bit better. Um, and then also looking at geth instead of you know using Infura, which is something we could do, although it would require a setup video, a lot of questions. So if you promise not to drive me crazy, I might show a setup video for that, but you're gonna have to do some troubleshooting. So moving on back to the code, Let's set this up. So there's gonna be a lot of copy pasting. So let's grab our first one, which was the get transactions. And let's grab the first two things out of here, which would be our setup stuff. And we're gonna copy paste those into our streaming transactions here. So I'll copy paste. And then once we do that, we're going to need to get the pending transactions again, right? So we'll say, get transaction hashes and we'll go copy and we will paste that into our new one here. So now we are subscribing again to our pending transactions from the mempool and we're associating that with the transaction. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the transaction and actually view it. So we're gonna go back to our view transaction here and we're gonna say grab all of this stuff here copy, and I'm gonna paste that within our code for pending transactions, right? So let me indent this a little bit here. All right, so let's take a look here. We have stream and parse our transactions. And let's make sure this all looks good here. So that is this one, and then we're gonna need to close this one up here. So we're gonna go, and that should be mostly good. So here's what's gonna happen. We might have to do some troubleshooting, but we're gonna grab that uh, environment variable again. We're going to toss that through web three with our Infura URL and then we're gonna to subscribe to the pending transactions. But this time, instead of actually just printing the hash, we're going to take the transaction hash, which this time is going to come from transaction. So you're gonna to need to replace that there because we no longer are grabbing a hash that's a regular one we found. We're actually gonna be streaming them and then doing them on the fly. So we're gonna say get transaction, transaction. We're gonna still have our error checking and then our result. And our result this time is gonna be again, the from, the to, and we're gonna change this to value because we had this wrong before as far as just the, the string goes. So this should be good. And this is gonna be a bit of a shorter video, but it shows you how to just add on to what you are already doing, right? So let's try this out and see what happens. So we got this as 03 streaming transactions. And I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna say node 03 streaming transactions. And if we're lucky, oh, we got an error here. So we said result dot from cannot read property from. All right, let's take a look here. All right, so this code looks pretty good to me and it's what we had before. So let's do some quick troubleshooting here. I'm gonna look at the error again. Result from, looks like we have a type error and from of null. So we're getting null somewhere. So let's see what this looks like. We're just gonna comment out all the lines and then we're just going to print out only result and see what we're actually getting here. So if you remember last time when we were streaming, we just did a result first. So let's do that and we'll run this again. 
And it looks like we are getting transactions, but in between transactions, we are getting some nulls. So what's happening is that our code is going through here, it's grabbing everything down, and when it says a result dot two, there is no two field to grab. So it's erroring out on us. So what we're gonna do is just add a little extra try catch block and do a little hackery stuff and bypass it. So we'll switch this back here. So I'm gonna go control Z. All right, cool, so we're back to where we were before. So now let's just do a try. And we will encapsulate this in here. And then let's move this in here. All right, cool. And then after this, let's just do a catch. And we'll say catch E. And we don't really need to put anything in here because we're not software developers and we're just trying to get some transactions for whatever hackery things we're doing. Otherwise, if we were doing software development, don't do that actually, probably catch it, handle it, and all the things. But we're not doing software dev. Okay, so that actually works. And what you'll see here is we have transactions streaming from the blockchain. And what we're doing is we are parsing every from, every to, and every value, right? So now we have the ability to just kind of monitor all the transactions and the values going. And if we wanna use this data in some way, we can then code up some analysis to handle that data. All right, cool. So I think that is good for this video. So hopefully you learned something. We had a couple issues we dealt with in hackery ways. So hopefully that showed you how to do a little bit of troubleshooting. And um, hopefully you got some value from this. So if you learned something, please like and subscribe and share it out with all your friends. Thank you.